Okay, so last time we were here, we heard um, voices and footsteps. Well, no, I, oh, I think the last video, it went into four minutes or something. And I said, does anyone want to say anything? And there's like a... It's like, oh, okay. It did sound pretty good. just a barn so I just think that it's, it's a couple of hundred years old that no cows in there today but look at that sunset isn't it lovely right let's get in here I would say well I'm on my own yeah I would say I'm on my own but I'm hoping I'm not on my own. So let's hopefully see if we can get something from last time. Mr. Pigeon doesn't want to join us. Well, that went out of focus then. Screenshot there, I think. see some people walking as in living people <laughs> <clears throat> let's try and go to where I a screenshot and find those two faces don't think you can see them properly on no I didn't put them on YouTube they're on Facebook I always put all the screenshots I put on Facebook. So if you look up Spooky Walks Portsmouth on Facebook, <coughs> you'll find it on there. Where was it? It's roughly about. Yeah, it was about here. It was. We're done. I think it was down here. It was on the left or something. There were some faces. Sorry, I can see something down the other side of the graveyard, but. Where it's on grass, I don't know if it's a human or I actually don't know. But yeah, hopefully we can pick something up there. Okay, that to me looks like somebody's staring over, really creepy. Can you see them? Or is it just flowers? That's weird. Now I'm going to have to walk over there. <coughs> so I don't know if it's... <laughs> I think it's flowers. <laughs> See how some things can come across. I'm pretty sure it's like a rose bush or something like that. That's how it looks like there's somebody stood there. It's amazing how things are perceived, isn't it? It's really weird. Come on, it's just around here where we got something. Just here when I said, if anyone wants to say something, please, you're welcome, just say something. If you want to make yourselves known. There's some people in the background. Yeah, so this is this is the spot. I've just seen movement over here. 
I swear it looked like someone walking. There's about six young blokes down there. Make sure we're not going our way. Right. This reminds me though, somebody said to me in on YouTube, um do you do you feel things, different things like calmness, um, whispers and stuff like that in a graveyard? Yeah I do. Um I always feel calm. No I don't actually. Sorry, take that back. Half the time I feel calm, or most of the time I feel calm. It's yeah, you get things around sometimes, and you can sense that they're not nice. I mean, I've been in a graveyard where I've been followed around all the way around, and I've had... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wasn't nice at all. But yeah, I feel calm in this one. Definitely need to take some screenshots here though. Right, you won't be able to see much down on this bit, but just to show you back where we were, um, this is how things can come across as, you know, being right deceiving. And you can think, oh my God, there was somebody there. It really did look like there was someone stood there and you could see their shoulders and they were leaning up on a gravestone, but it wasn't. Can you actually see that pink flower now? So that's what it was. <laughs> that was it. That's what we saw. So it wasn't somebody stood there. Funny thing is, is if I see an apparition or anything, it's like, yeah, I want to contact. Um, I want to try something, but not to scare it, but I've got a habit of just running towards it. If I hear anything, I run towards it. Yeah, if there's a human looking suspicious in the graveyard, I poop my pants. So, I mean, I'm actually not alone. My hubby's sat in the camper van. So he's not watching this, obviously, because it's not live. But he can hear me scream. <laughs>
This is the point in this graveyard actually. It was quite a weird feeling. I um I was looking this way, doing a spooky walk, filming. And I was going around here and everything. And then I looked to my right and on the path next to me was it was a woman um, matty hair a bit scrawny looked a bit dirty sorry if the woman's about and within seconds she went so I said oh <laughs> she made me jump because I wouldn't expect her to sit next to me like that <clears throat> but I think it's like a poopy time where oh my god she can see me disappear it was weird <laughs> Right, if you like what you see, please hit the um, thumbs up and subscribe. I do lots of other things. Um, I've just started doing some camper van bits, which is quite cool because we love our camper van. Slimming World, which is like a healthy eating plan thing, which people can do. I don't know if Slimming World 100%, but I've lost like nearly two stone so can't be all that bad can it and I'll be doing other things as well I used to make soap and candles and all that so I'll be doing loads of different things I think it'd be nice getting back into it I'm actually a registered soap maker and candles <laughs> all right well thanks for watching and yeah it does mean a lot all right thanks bye